is up, Trainters? Ludo here with another fabulous Pokemon Go video, and today we are just chilling at home, doing some catch-up and a little bit of maintenance and showing off. So it's been quite some time since I've actually like just kind of sat down and kind of like gone over what we have and what we've gotten and there have been uh, hatches and some catches off screen that you guys may have not uh, caught me literally just saying and not showing because it was not recorded. So, uh, you know, today we're just gonna chill. We're gonna do some evolutions because I've got uh, all of the Alolans now. I've had all the Alolans for a while, but today we're gonna actually evolve all of them. Gonna show off the shinies, gonna show off the hundos, gonna show off the decks because we completed our Kanto decks as well. Show off some luckies. And then, you know, just kind of kiki about the different uh, Pokemon's goings-ons. So yeah, quite a lot to go over, so uh, let's get started. Yes, as you heard, we completed the Kanto decks! Finally completed all 151 of the original Generation 1 Kanto Pokemon. We finally got our last hatch, which was the Kangaskhan, uh, on Chikorita Day, so... Ah, look at that. Uh, 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 it just makes me so happy to actually have a full decks. Like, I, I, we were all kind of used to the idea that, uh, like we said, our uh, regional decks, and then uh, what, did, what did we call the whole decks? The, the whole decks? But we were always referring it to a, uh, my regional decks is full, as in you had everything with your regional, but not your the other regionals. And a lot of us sat on that forever, and once they finally did this egg thing, a lot of us finally were able to complete our Kanto deck, so thank you Niantic. I really did like the, the, the egg stuff. I'm still hatching eggs. And currently, as of today, uh, we have, I think, like three more days left of the event, so, you know, I'm gonna try and get out there and uh, hatch as many as I can within those next three days. So, you know, maybe three to four more little hatching little groupings, but that's probably about it. I'm satisfied I've got my Kangaskhan and my Mr. Mime. Those were really the only two that I was missing. Because we all, uh, well not all, but a lot of us got far-fetched for the Thanksgiving event. And uh, as I said, we did that on Chikorita Community Day. And on Chikorita Community, whoa, whoa. I do not even know what I just said. Let's play that back. Chikorita Community, Chikorita Community. Chikorita Community. Well, all right, anyways, so on Chikorita Community Day, we ended up with a total of 10 shiny Chikoritas. We have already done our evolutions for them. We did that in the episode, obviously. If you haven't seen it, click here. But we ended out with 10. Me and Tyler have traded a couple, but we did not get luckies, unfortunately. But we did trade, and uh, I did end up getting uh, this 78% one from him. So that was really nice. I was, because all of mine were pretty crappy IVs. So this is the best IV shiny Chikorita family Meganium that I have. And then, uh, over this weekend, uh, I have kind of been complaining about how with this event, I haven't really caught any shinies. Last shinies I caught were on Moltres Day, and then I got uh, another shiny Magikarp just randomly walking and going to the park, and then Chikorita Day, and before that, Wingle. So I don't have uh, what's out since then. Houndour, I believe. I don't have, uh, I have Snubble. Growlithe, I don't have Geodude or Grimer, and those are going away in like two days. But we did get a fifth. Shiny, and I named it uh, Poke Girl 7 because I was watching her uh, vlogs about it. Well, not about it. I was watching her vlogs about Pokemon Go and Shinies and Luckies, and I got a shiny this, so that was pretty lucky. So, I I know, I know things. There's a process. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, uh, fifth shiny Magikarp. Super exciting, uh, and we're gonna evolve it, and hopefully, I mean, it is uh, CP34, so it's gonna be pretty low when it evolves, but, uh, you know, uh, uh, it could be worth powering up. Because it's not a bad IVs either, it's uh, uh, 87, 86, something like that. Uh, this is my third shiny Red Gyarados. 
Oh, 531. That's actually kind of cute. I love that. Because I could totally use that in my lower rates. I think I'm so gonna do that. Oof. Oof, it looks so good. Ugh. Ugh. Seriously, oh my god, the sprites just continue to get better and better and better. Ooh, and it's got double dark moves, perfect. Cool. I think that is a very befitting of Pope Girl. I think she would approve. Okay, moving right along, I just wanted to kind of go over the entire decks that we have right now. So as you see here, we have completed our Kanto decks. That is finished. And then we move on to Johto. Johto to the dojo. Uh, missing Heracross and Corsola. 235, that's Smeargle, right? If I remember correctly, that's Smeargle. And then 251, Celebi. Yes, it's coming soon, just wait. Something big planned. And then on to the Hoenn, uh, my, uh, th this is the one that I started with was Hoenn. So very personal to me. We're missing Torkala, 313, what's that? Uh, Volbeat, 352. What's that? I haven't even seen it. <laughs> Anyways, Tropius, Relicanth, and then I believe that's uh, Clamperol and uh, Huntail and Grovis, right? Yeah, and then, yeah. That's it. Uh, uh, next after Rayquaza here would be Jirachi, right? If I remember correctly as well. I'm not, I mean, I love Pokemon, but I am not the most educated, yo. Forthright and honest and front and blunt, not the most educated when it comes to Pokemon. I just love Pokemon so much. So anyways, that's why we're all here, because we all love Pokemon. And because we all love Pokemon, let's evolve some Pokemon. So uh, it's been quite some time. Uh, we already have a uh, Alolan Rattata. We have our Alolan Raichu that, that you, you, you obtain that. That's not something you can evolve with. Uh, we already have our Alolan Sandshrew because we got that. That was the first one we hatched. So we took care of that right away. It was super excited. We have not evolved an Alolan Vulpex yet. We have not evolved an Alolan Diglett. We have evolved an Alolan Meowth. I did that for a task to get, uh, what was it, a Poochiana? I forget what it was. I'm gonna do a Volva Meowth to get a certain encounter that could have been a shiny. We have evolved all the way through a, uh, a Geodude. It was uh, my 96 from our trainer friend, the episode that we went out and met up with a friend, Kate here. So, you know, my little powerful Kate there. I, I love the, the ball animation, how it just like, it's so funny. We still also have not evolved a Grimer. And then these two are also ones that you just obtain. You can't really evolve into. So we're going to start with a Lowland Grimer. My highest one here is uh, 93. Yes. So we're going to do this 93% one. Finally going to be getting ourselves an Alolan Muck. Yay. I really do like a Lowland Sherbert Muck. We're going to name it Sherbert. I don't really care for it shiny. I feel like it's shiny is just like switched colors. Not really, I mean, all shinies are kind of switched colors, but the switched colors don't really like seem so switched. 1533, moving on, bite and gunk shot. His crystallized sherbertness. Her crystallized sherbertness, sorry. 1533 is not that bad either. Uh, not gonna power up yet. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to build my Stardust. You know me, I'm, I'm always down to do power ups and that's that's where I end up like kind of ruining my buildup of Stardust. And I would like to get it to a million because I've been there once before, but I just keep on end up spending it. So not powering this up, 1533, gonna leave it there. Pretty awesome, love it. I love the crystallization, I really do. Ooh, there's crystals on the back. Ugh. I love it. For fun, we will do another Geodude. So, uh, I kind of really like Alolan uh, Graveler. It's kind of really cool. You know, you, you just kind of skip over him. You don't really actually, you know, you're not like into him. Because look, he's got the, 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 the orange like little pirate, pyrites, whatever you would call that. Oh, and they glow. See, ooh, I really like Alolan Graveler. I really do. Ooh, he's gonna make a really good Alolan Golem too. I really do like the the rock and electric mix because uh, they're not, you know, uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna stop talking because I may not know what I'm about to talk about. <laughs> stop myself before I speak. 
uh, falsehoods. 1645, I thought it would be better, but uh, plenty of room to power up when we do. So I'm gonna do one more because I really like it. Perfect, Denny can be Graveler, that's perfect. I want a Graveler, a Lola Graveler in my party. So that way I can use that and play with that. That's super fun, super cute. Yes, uh, yes, okay. 1021, not bad either, that's, that's perfect, sweet. And yes, we've already done a Meowth, but this Zoe Two Dots Meowth that I got from her uh, Japan trip uh, totally is gonna be my next little Persian. This little Meow. It's so cute. I do, I like uh, Alolan Meowth a lot better than normal Meowth, but I hate Alolan Persian. The only thing I like about Alolan Persian is it's, it's, it's blue gem now. It's really pretty, but... It's Zoe Two Dots! That's what I'm more happy about. <laughs> 913 with Scratch and Dark Pulse. You know what, I, I don't want it to have Scratch at all. Faint Attack, perfect. Stab, right there, there we go, perfect. All right, moving along, we have a 100% ditto that I hatched Alolan Ditto that I hatched from uh, an egg from Spain. So super happy. I mean, a little pointless because uh, uh, Alolan Doug Trio is not really that usable in meta, but still a hundo, a hundo nonetheless. I have a hundo, Alolan Hansen group. Yes, mm bop, doop dop doop boom bop, dibba dop bop boom bop, Dip, dap, bop, mm, yay, yeah, yeah, 907. Metal Claw and Iron Head. I can't believe I just did that. But everybody did that, everybody knew. When it came out, everybody was like, Hanson? But I love it, like, my hair is like, wee <laughs> Yes, queen! <laughs> All right, now we have a 100 uh, trio. Super cool, super fun. Moving on, now we can finally get our Lola Nine Tails. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this. 93%, not, not, not anything higher because that this is the highest I found. Uh, Alolan Vulpex is the rarest to hatch from Alolan eggs. So, ah, oh God, it's so pretty. Oof. Very pretty. Yes, nine tails. Fairy and ice. I love that typing. It's very pretty. Super cute. Ugh. Ugh. See, see, like, this is one you want to take out into like AR. Why? But I can't. So it's just very upsetting. Either ways, yay! Alola nine tails. Twelve thirty nine. Not bad. Plenty of room to power up as well when we finally do. And again, for fun, we will take care of doing this 98% Alolan Sand True into an Alolan Sand Slash. So that might actually be somewhat usable in uh, raid battles, you know, at least, because it is a 98%. It's a really high CP, so it should have uh, uh, a good landing spot. 1349, yeah, that's not bad. Powder Snow and Gyro Ball. Oh, because it's a nice and steel type, cool. And that's from Australia. That's pretty, actually, I kind of like that, having a, an Alolan Sand Shrew from Australia. I believe that's from Star. And then, you know, Alolan Raichu, woohoo. And then our Alolan Rattata, we already evolved our highest one, which was a 96, but you know what? I, I can't really put full nine, or I can't really put full Alolan evolutions in the title without doing this. I can't words. I almost said full Nine Tails evolution. Rattata, 93, not. It's Eradicate with a 93%. 14.11, I have to say, I do like Alolan Radicate way better. It's actually really cute, so I don't mind it. Like, if this was the first one that was in the games originally, I would have thought no different. I would have been totally fine. Would have been like, yes, it's so cute, perfect. I mean, and the fact that it kind of went from purple to black or this dark gray, I wouldn't have minded that either. So, Bite and Crunch, I have almost 2,000 Rattata candies. Wow, Trainer Joey's got more though. So there you have it, all the Alolan evolutions, yay. 
one of them being a hundo. Super exciting. Uh, yeah, now I can kind of go through and these trade ones I need to get rid of and trade because those ones are just really low IV'd, uh, far away distance trade purpose. That's the purpose for them. So I need to get on that so I can up that pilot metal. But that is that for that. Ooh, Charmander shiny check? No, that's a Nidorin. There we go, not a shiny. All right, and moving right along to Lucky Pokemon. So, I will admit at first that I did not really care about Luckies, and I'm not trying to sound like I'm like such a good person, but I actually really like giving people something they don't have and just requesting them to send me something old. So that way we can guarantee a lucky for them. To me, it is even still, it is just more of a novelty thing. So it's really fun, it's cool, but my more enjoyment out of it is is kind of guaranteeing a lucky when I'm trading somebody something they don't have and new for them. Then they have something new and it's lucky. It's even more important to them. It's even more of a special moment to them. It's even a better memory. So, and that's the thing is there's all these memories attached to, not all of these, cause some of these are just uh, done literally right here with uh, me and the boyfriend, but like this EV was our first one. And then it's just, you know, this little Pichu. It's super exciting and cool that I have this party hat, Lucky Pichu. That's really cool. I have my own regional that is a Lucky as well. I have an Alakazam, which is a killer in uh, raids. So that's pretty fun and cool. Bioplume was just kind of really random, but it, it, it again, it almost kind of makes them look better. The background, that's the only thing that's different. Their sprites are not different or anything. Well, their sprites have been updated but their sprites are not different or anything as pertaining to the lucky screens. It's just the lucky background. This right here is probably one of my pride and joys of my lucky. It's my little lucky shiny Dratini. Like, I don't even know if I want to ever evolve that. Seriously. Jolteon, Pidgeot. This is the Butterfree that I got from my nephew when we traded and I got him his very first, not his very first, his second Mewtwo, but it was lucky, so Super cool, uh, and I have a very iconic uh, lucky Pokemon, and I like that. Vaporeon, another Eevee, a Shuppet, a Pikachu with a hat and sunglasses, because, you know, you gotta have that. Uh, we decided to do a Plusle during the event that when it was going on. This is a Dragonite I got from Jeremy, I believe. This is when I traded him an Unknown. So he ended up getting a Lucky Unknown, and that's really cool. This is a Blastoise I got from a coworker, who again, I traded an Unknown, and it was his first Unknown. That Unknown ended up literally being a Hundo. So he has a Hundo Lucky Unknown. I'm not jealous. <laughs> Anyways, then we have this Hitmon Lee, this Tangela, and again, this Tangela was another one that I traded somebody for a, uh, uh, an unknown. They didn't have an unknown, so I gave them the words. So I gave them an unknown, and they gave me their oldest uh, Tangela, and they have a lucky unknown now. Hitmon Chan, Vulpix. And that's our list of, uh, that's the most recent one we have done so far is the Vulpix. So not the biggest collection, just a small collection. I just kind of, uh, like I said, I'm not really big on the lucky Pokemon, to be honest. Uh, and, mm. I like how they look, and I like that when you do that, you are, you're guaranteed better IVs, but that's about it. I more personally like my shiny collection. So here is, I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom. Very first shiny was Magikarp. I really do think Magikarp needs to become like my new, shiny Magikarp needs to become like my new little mascot because in this game, that's the most shiny shinies I have of a Pokemon that are full odds outside of events. Because even when Magikarp was dropped, it wasn't a huge increase of Magikarps everywhere and all that, it was not. And quite literally, I got this. We had been waiting all day. There was no Magikarps at the house at all. Went to bed, literally got into bed, pulled up the covers, grabbed the phone to, you know, all right, what's here before I go to bed? Cause you know, I'm addicted. And uh, Magikarp showed up and I'm like, oh my God, a Magikarp? First one all day. I'm like, okay, well, click on it. And it was a freaking shiny. 
This little guy, 322. <sighs> Crazy. Horrible IVs too. First one though. Uh, and, and I never thought that, uh, you know, two-ish years later, I would have a fifth one all off of completely random, non-increased, full-odd, shiny, odd, discovery find, encounter. It's mine. Anyways, so, and then, you know, and then I got another one, and then uh, that Pikachu I actually got at Peninsula Park uh, in Portland. I didn't even get any on Pikachu Community Day. I got none that uh, Bayonet, the Shuppet, I got during that event, during the Halloween one, uh, the Love Disc I got during the, the, the Valentine event, and then it starts into our uh, uh, Community Day more Pokemon. So there you have Dratini, you have Mareep and Bulbasaurs, you have, uh, oh, and then, and then, and then, yeah, and then I have, you know, other ones that are thrown into the middle of there, so then I have my, uh, uh, little uh, golden nugget that I got and when I evolved it it ended at that so I decided to keep it exactly at that because I love that I think that's hilarious and perfect and then we have our uh, Metadite that we got into uh, or our Makuhita that we did into Hariyama and I named it Purple Hands because I really couldn't think of anything else to name it. This is the shiny Metadite that we evolved into shiny Metacham right but anyways we named it Caitlyn because that's uh, what she wanted. I asked her what uh, shiny she wanted to be named after and not so much she wanted, so we named it after her. Then, you know, we have our Charmanders from Charmander Community Day. My one rare, crazy, amazing uh, Burr Fam shiny Why Nut Hatch. During the other event with Ammonite and Kabuto, I only ended up getting just Kabuto. And then we move on to Larvitar Community Day. I only got three there. Then I finally got my pink Sumbarine. Roselia weekend, I got one. Then we move into uh, the starting of them doing the, the the legendary raid weekends with the shinies. We got two of the Articunos, then we move on to uh, the Squirtle Community Day where we had the shiny sunglass Squirtles and the normal shiny Squirtles. So got a good load of them. That was really fun actually. That day was pretty fun. Then we had the Minin and Plusle weekend. The, the, those are probably, but it, that was increased spawns and purposeful, and that's a lot, but that's one of the most shinies I've gotten. Then we have our two shiny Lugias, that's just when Lugia came back again. Then we have our shiny Dratini that's there because it was traded, and when you uh, trade and get a lucky, it moves up in the recent listings. Anyways, then we have another random Magikarp. Then we have our Eevee Community Day, probably. I loved that weekend. That whole weekend was quite amazing, quite really fun. Uh, I got my shiny Sableye during that weekend, finally. Uh, uh, and we also got a, a Hundo uh, Eevee that weekend as well, and I'm saving that for uh, Leafeon when Gen 4 comes, so super fun. And then we have just Shiny Snubble, got that completely random uh, downtown Portland. Literally, it was like the first Snubble I had seen during the whole entire time. Clicked on it, it was a Shiny. So I may not have like the greatest Shiny luck, but my Shiny luck usually is very lucky. Like, way random, like first click, whoa, but then it'll be like, and no more for you after that. And then we have my shiny Sunkern, another shiny Makuhita that I caught. And then finally, after a thousand encounters, I finally was able to get my shiny Murkrow. That took forever, so I'm very happy with that. It doesn't have good IVs, but hey, I have a shiny Murkrow that I can evolve into Hunchcrow when, uh, Hunchcrow, Hunchcrow, whatever, when Gen 4 comes out. And then Shiny Wingle Weekend when we were up in Seattle. Uh, super fun, uh, got a good little handful of those. Uh, haven't evolved any of those yet. Uh, I, I, I don't really care to. I mean, I'll probably evolve one of them just to have the Pepler uh, Shiny Evolution, but. And then moving on, we have Moltres Day. Got three of those, three of them in a row. Back to back to back. Insane. I was shocked. And then literally, we did a total of almost 20 raids that day. First three were shiny, and then it was no more for you. And then another shiny random carp, Chikorita Day, and our last shiny carp. And then moving on to my favorite part, showing off my hundos. 
I have such a weird and random collection of hundos in my opinion. Like this was my very first hundo. Super happy with that. That was crazy. I got that when we went to the uh, Camus Golf Course when it was a nest there. And then this I hatched, or no, I caught it I guess. I thought I hatched this one. This one I hatched, we were down at the fort, I remember specifically, I was super happy when I hatched that because I just, I love Stantler, it is really cute. My hundo Polyrath, my hundo Dusclops, I believe I got this during the event as well. My random hatched Electrode, my random hatched Gulpin, that was a hundo. Uh, this one I caught, I believe I got it uh, during the shiny when the shiny was released i believe that's when i caught this and then i'm still trying to find its match i don't have a hundo mine in but i have this lovely little adorable hundo plusel and then this i got from a raid i was super happy when i got that because i was like okay i either want a shiny or i want a hundo and i got a hundo and i had to wait and i finally got my shiny but i was super satisfied that i had got my hundo little state alive and then this one i can't wait to uh power this one up and max it out i really can't like super excited about this one this one will be a mewtwo and machamp killer so yes i can't wait to do that and then I love Blossom, I really do, and so I had a second Poliwag, I believe that it was, that I, no, it was a Gloom that we had gotten, uh, not Poliwag, duh, Gloom. So yeah, it was a Gloom that we had gotten uh, at a Community Day, and it was a hundo, and we decided to do Blossom, because I love Blossom, I really do, it's really cute. Uh, this is the hundo that we got down at Community Day that we got. It was CP16 when we got it, so a lot of candy and stardust has been invested into this guy. My Mew is not a hundo, that's just there because it has the stars and I want my Mew to have stars. Celebi will have stars on it as well, but it's not. Well, I won't say that yet, I'm not jinxing it. Then we have this second one that I got from a raid that was super random and exciting. So I have two Hundo Gyaradoses and that's pretty cool. I have this that I caught, uh, I believe it was during the water festival if I remember correctly or something like that, but just totally random. This again was, I remember I got it at nighttime and I remember it, uh, looking at my screen and going, that's eh, just a sun form, cast form, clicked on it and I was like, 11.46, I was like, that's not bad. It's like, we'll catch it, and there's a hundo. Super excited, because uh, high CP and hundo is, is really good. Then, during the event, I was like blown away and shocked that I was able to actually hatch a hundo, Pichu, sunglass, hatted, sunflower hat, summertime, hundo, Pichu. So yeah, I was like super happy when I hatched that. It's just so cute. I don't think I'll probably ever evolve that either because it's just cute as is. This is the one that we got on Eevee Community Day. I've pre-named it Zoe because that's the trainer for Leafeon and assuming that that's how it all will work like it has, that when Gen 4 drops, I should just be able to take away the stars, obviously, and evolve it and get Leafeon. Then I also caught this at home as well. Burr fam, Teddy Burr, hundo, caught at my house. I was super happy about that and I actually squealed because it's just so stinking cute. And I think I will evolve this one eventually because I know they love Ursa Ring as well and I think Ursa Ring's pretty dope and he's actually pretty good to use, so. And then recently, it wasn't a shiny, maybe that'll come next hopefully, but a, a one hundo Poochiana, that'll make a good Mightyana, you know, to use in some raids or whatnot, but uh, super fun, super cool, uh, you know, totally random little hatches and whatnot, and then our Alolan trio that we just did as well, so super fun. I love my little list of hundos. I don't have a large list of hundos, but it's my list of hundos. And while we're at it, we might as well show off, uh, you know, some of this stuff. I'm just gonna go real quick through it because we've already recorded quite a bit a lot of stuff so i'm just gonna go through these and you guys can look at them and see what i have and what it is uh, to do because i'll be honest i'm not really a stats person i don't really get deep into like comparing and all this stuff like the boyfriend loves to do that and he's always like what are you at on this and whatnot not not too much in competition when it comes to, to the stats. I don't worry too much about it. 
like, thank God there's not a leaderboard, like a literal national Niantic led leaderboard, because I'd be like at the bottom. I mean, no, I really wouldn't be at the bottom, but. Yep. Getting to our pilot, our pilot, uh, so good. That's really like the only one I care about is my pilot. And then gold on all of those. Total XP, 16,310,2600. Wow. Start date, 7-5-2016. And we are about one fifth of our way to level 40. But that's about that. Finally went through and showed off all of my stuff. Uh, been wanting to do that for a while. I haven't really had the time or opportunity to just kind of sit down and take the time because this does take a while. This is going to be a long episode, yo, <laughs> as you already probably know. <laughs> so anyways, uh, yeah, uh, that was actually really fun. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I feel like I have a really good collection and a really unique and fun collection, and I actually enjoyed showing that off. I mean, of course, we all love showing off, so, you know, Thank, if you're still watching, thank you. And last thing, there are new hats in the store. Look at these, they're so cute. I'm probably gonna buy the Bulbasaur hat. I know a while, long time, oh, whoops, Squirtle first, then we'll go to the Valor. I know a long time ago I said that we would never take off the Mimikyu hat, but you know what, I'm kinda getting tired of it, TBH, so. New hats, that's the only thing new in the style store. So I kind of really like the team hats and I really like the Bulbasaur hat. So we'll see, we'll probably end up getting one of them for sure. But for now, uh, I don't have enough coins. So, you know, we'll have to wait. But really that's about it for that. Uh, uh, some things that I have coming your guys' ways. Uh, one, I kind of lacked off from it and I was doing it for like a quick minute where I was live streaming some of uh, the other Pokemon games and I want to get back into that. Uh, I want to start with doing Pokemon Snakewood. It is a hack game and then I think I want to move on to uh, Pokemon Phoenix Rising. It's another hack game. So. Uh, if you guys would be interested in watching me do some live stream playthroughs of some Pokemon hat games, I love playing Pokemon hat games. Like, I've played enough of the original games. I really like playing Fakemon and hack games. So, if you're interested in seeing that, please comment down specifically, comment down below and let me know so that way I know there is an interest uh, in the channel for people to see that. Along with that as well, if you would like to see, I did do a Melton drawing. I did post that on my Twitter. I will be doing a video about Melton itself and the different artwork that came out because when Melton was, uh, before it was announced, <laughs> internet was flooded with curiosity art of this new Pokemon and it was just so inspiring. It was super cute. So I ended up making my own painting or my own drawing of it and recording it. And I want to do a video kind of just featuring mine, but also featuring all the different artists out there that just made super quick these adorable inspired drawings from this brand new Pokemon that we had no idea about. So I it, basically I want to start drawing little Pokemon more and doing a little more, uh, you know, time lapse videos of me drawing Pokemon. So again, if that's something that would interest you as well, please comment down below and let me know. And third, I already have made it and uh, I do want to upload them because it's it, not saying negatively, it's my uh, leftover kind of like gotta get it out uh, creativeness, but uh, all the time lapses you've seen in the different vlogs, uh, I've kept all those and I compiled them into just different uh, time lapse little videos, ASMR, uh, chill out, relaxing, two different styles as well, one with background music and one with uh, just the field recording noises and uh, so uh, I, I want to put those out as well but before I did that I wanted to make sure to let everybody know and let you guys know that th it's like all of a sudden you wouldn't just be like what is this about so that those are gonna be uploaded on this channel for sure so look out for those if that piques your interest as well and then of course Mewtwo is still here and we have gone out and done some Mewtwo raids, but I have not gone out and done a Mewtwo day. So we're gonna go out and do a Mewtwo day. We might actually do a couple of those. So stay tuned for that as well. That's gonna be super exciting. And then super exciting, uh, doing some planning, figuring out some drone stuff and getting ready to film my Celebi catch. So 
Stay tuned for all of that. Many much things coming your way. But we're gonna wrap it up here. Please scroll down, give me that like if you truly did enjoy this. Uh, I really enjoyed showing off my collection, so I really hope you did too. Maybe consider subscribing if you're not, and if you are subscribed, be sure to hit the notification button next to the subscription button so that way you're notified of the next adventure. And we'll see you then, trainters. Stay fabulous. Bye.